Hey guys, Language Hacker here. Today we're not going to be talking about a new deck. We're going to be talking about an old deck that's picked up a couple of new tricks. Uh, well, well, basically one new trick. Basically, we're, we're going to be talking about Mazaki Mage. Uh, let's just hop right in, look at the deck list, and talk about what the deck does. Okay, as you can see, most of the cards are pretty much the same as from the fourth expansion. Um, you have Encanter's Fluff to discount your deck. You have Mazaki as your finisher, where you want to play Mazaki, a bunch of cheap spells to ramp up spell damage, and then some burn spells to burn out your opponent and win the game. Uh, there's a bunch of card draw to support this, like an Intellect, Spring Water, Cramp Session can be used before Mazaki to draw extra cards, or after you play the Mazaki to draw extra cards, basically. Uh, ideally, you have a flow or two. By the time you play Mazaki, you play Mazaki, you play a few spells, then you cram session, get a bunch of cheap spells because they're in Cantus Float, play a couple more, and then close it out with one or two burn spells, maybe more if, if you have a lot of discounts. Um, there's some control tools as well. We have Brain Freeze, First Flame, we have Ignites, Rune Orbs. All of these can be targeted to minions. Uh, Ignite and Rune Orb can both go face. You have Flurry to stall up the game a little bit. Fire Sail to help clean up some AoE. Multicaster, which is a relatively new addition. It's been added since Dead Mines. Uh, there are three different school uh, class school spells classes S spell schools anyways you run fire frost and um, arcane spells so it makes sense to have um, something that also draws cards based off of those spells uh, what is new however is siphon mana uh, deal two damage this can go face as well honorable kill reduce the cost of spells in your hand by one um, often this deck can draw kind of clunkily if you don't have encanter's flow and then you end up going on staying alive and then you have mazaki and some expensive st spells in your hand or not necessarily expensive just not super cheap uh siphon mana can help that after you've drawn some cards you can just play siphon mana to reduce them even if you haven't had flow cast already and that helps you actually play mazaki with a bunch of cheap spells and allows you to do the combo more frequently more consistently uh, again it can also be used just as early removal it can help clear whatever board it kills a trog by itself which is kind of nice as well um, it can set up to get you a spring water down on turn four instead of waiting till turn five. There's some cool stuff you can do, but basically that's the only new card uh, that's being run. Um, that being said, the deck does feel relatively consistent uh, since I've played it. Some people have tried to include Devolving Missiles with the prevalence of Trog in some of the aggressive decks. Uh, not even some non-aggressive decks, but if you see Trogs, you might want to throw in a Devolving Missiles or two. Uh, you could probably cut a Primordial Studies or a maybe a Rune Orb. To help deal with that devolving will also help just deal with paladins in general if you're seeing a lot of those uh, other than that devolving doesn't hit too many other things you can sometimes hit stealth minions if you hit the odd quest rogue or something uh, but generally this is a more consistent sort of package however it can be disrupted pretty uh, intensely by a trog you can actually just straight up lose the game to trog so that's definitely a consideration if that's something you're seeing a lot of try to include devolving missiles anyways um there's not too much to talk about how the game plays out. In terms of mulligans, you basically always want to be looking for flow. Um, you can keep some card draw. If you're against slightly slower matchups, uh, even against aggressive matchups, you probably want to just keep Mazaki because that's kind of how you win. So it makes sense for you to have your win condition so that as soon as you have the environment for you to pop off, then you can just pop off. Although I wouldn't really blame you for tossing Mazaki against something like a face hunter and then looking for the cheap removal to help you stop the early chip damage um so yeah i've been keeping flow mazaki sometimes i keep a uh, card draw if i'm mulliganing everything else if i'm against aggressive decks i try to keep first flame maybe a brain freeze helps you deal with early minions trogs for example um and that's pretty much it that's kind of all of your look all you're looking for all right let's hop into a couple of games to show you guys what the deck can do how quickly it can do it and how much damage it can do um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're jamming out guides as much as possible. So if you're enjoying the content, let me know. Uh, if you guys want to see some, some specific decks, or if you have some different decks that you'd like to suggest to me, let me know. Enjoy the games and see you next time. Fair, Multicaster was the only dead draw for my deck. It probably would have been lethal if I did it properly and then didn't draw Multicaster. These cards are not flow. Just what I do, 
These cards are also not flow. What have we cut since the last iteration of the deck? Barry or something? I'm gonna save the orb this time. I have Mazaki, so it is useful to have damage stuff in hand. Sure. Uh, we drew multi-claster, so we're gonna spend mana on this and draw all the stuff. First flame is good for removal. Ignite's good for damage. Take an ignite. Flame is safer, but it's turn three. They're not developing that much yet. I have a brain freeze in hand and another uh, a second flame. Multicast into multicast. True. Okay. I'm tired of it. Flowing it up. All right. Probably want to get down that down before we do the multicast number two. Coin passage. It's a pretty good card to hit. Ten woo. No. Step? Ten woo doesn't work. I think ten woo sets it to one, if I'm not mistaken. I think 10 will override scabs. Oh, it is a step. I didn't like this. I would have just played two of these. I would have stepped this and replayed it. I guess maybe they have something in hand that they want to use it with next turn. Just reduce incoming damage. I could just ping to take it slow, but I will also need hand space. So like fine. Okay. Fancy. Okay. I'm actually not really sure why Ed Edwin is flying the Alliance flag, but okay. It's actually kind of sussy. What is this? Extortion? Hmm. Magic. I've heard of it. That's a lot of damage to take. Can I do that? Oof, that's a lot of damage. That seems like too much damage, you know? Seems like a bit too much damage to take on the Noggin. So 
Okay, fine. We delay the quest by a bit this way, but I think it's probably fine. It's a lot of health we save. Okay. Fire sales cost two mana, so we can go Encantress Flow, then Intellect. I could hot streak it and ping the 4-4. Four four. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm fine taking four. And the next one we go for lethal. We don't have any minions left in the deck, so we can start off with Mazaki Springwater. We have the Cram Session already. Uh, we have two flows, so everything is free except for AI and the Fire Sail. So this is very likely lethal this turn. One Ignite costs mana. That's fine, though. We have Biscuits in the deck. Blue roll. I haven't done the math on what I need to, how many cards I need to play before the uh, crime session, but figure it out as we go along. Okay. Biscuit. We draw two, we draw three, we draw four, five. I shouldn't have played Hot Streak, but that's fine. I'm playing you too. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I play AI first. You can play AI after. Appears to be a lot of damage. It was even more. 11 over, 13 over, 26 over, plus an extra like six or three. That was probably like 100 damage. Cool. If I freeze a trog there, I can try to set lethal with Mizaki the turn after that. I wanted to, basically I wanted to spring water this turn. So I took a riskier line to try and win. Maybe it was an unnecessary risk. Maybe it just gave me more time to clear. It probably was better to clear. I think I'm kind of just out of it today, guys. Most of these, like, all, all the constructed games today have been just fucking awful. I don't think I had guaranteed lethal next turn, no gods. But I think there was a chance I had lethal. Played Fire and Arcane. Nature waits for no one but me. Drawing three is probably worth here. There's a flow. Wow, currently you got it through. Nice. I do need me some hand space.
Let's do this. This is not what we stood for. Mm Okay, that looks lethal-ish. Next turn. <laughs> and you have the bloom clear. That really sucks. Hmm. If you didn't have the bloom clear, we might have been okay. Um. Alright, I guess we're just Ignite Mage now. Okay, just a bit more damage and we're there. Just a little bit. Hey, PKO's gone. It's a dunk tank. Okay. We are currently one damage off of lethal. Ignite Mage getting it done. Who needs Mazaki? Why do we even run Mazaki? We should just play Ignites. Why? Just makes your spring water worse. <laughs> 